Okay, what's new in the new Moodle? Let's go over this. What can you do? What, what looks different? How do you navigate the new Moodle? And that's a basic difference, really, is how the Moodle, the Moodle is navigated. Uh, over here, uh, you know, it just looks a little bit different. It's called a boost theme, and that theme is very responsive to mobile devices like your iPhone and uh, iPad. And so one of the big changes here is this little icon up here. We call it a hamburger. Gets it out of the way so you don't have to deal with it. What the screen you're seeing now is the dashboard right here. If you click on Site Home, it'll take you an overview of courses. Uh, the calendar will take you, of course, to the calendar. And you can add things to your calendar here if you want to. Private files. Files that you upload here, you can distribute in any course that you're into. May find that useful, may not. Then, of course, your courses uh, would be listed here in this area. So let's go to one of those courses. Here's a course. And the first time you go into a course, you will get this little welcome that will navigate you through the new features. So you click on Next, and it tells you right here, Customization. To change any course settings, use the settings in the corner of this course right here. Uh, you will find similar menu on the home page of every activity too. So next, navigation, is what we were just talking about, the navigation that gives you a little bit more work area. You don't need to have it in there. Uh, next, course participants, right here, you click on it. You used to see users, enrolled users uh, in your uh, course administration. Now you can just click here and it'll give you an overview of your uh, course participants, um, etc. So let's go back to the course. So um, and next, add a block right here. If you turn editing on, you could add blocks from the nav drawer. I'll get to that later. Next, that's the end of the tour and you won't see the tour anymore unless you go down here and reset the user tour and if you want to get a refresher on how to go through the whole Moodle experience. All right, so here we are in our course. Uh, by default, we are going to see Quick Mail as a, as a default feature. In the past, we had to add Quick Mail each time we uh, went into a course, but now it's automatic. You will see Quick Mail in all your courses and you do not have to do anything. So, notice here there's no course admin area as we mentioned before as I mentioned before as I am the only one in this right here we click on this gear edit settings we click there as we recall we get into the area where we can set the course start and end date we can uh, add a description of the course we can change the format from a topic space format to a weekly format and add as many weeks, etc., as we want to. And that's generally all we usually do here. There are some things in here, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're going to save and display. Again, turn editing on is in this area here so that we can make changes to the course. And again, it's very similar uh, that we can do things like drag and drop files directly in here, uh, such as this. And of course we click on the pencil and we can make a quick change and hit enter, quick name, uh, change. So again, here we can import an older, older course, we can go into our gradebook, all that's going to look exactly the same as before. Here's the gradebook setup where you can you know, change the overarching aggregation by clicking on the edit settings in this area right here. So those are the real basic differences. Uh, other than that, you're going to find it pretty much the same. Uh, we'll be giving some different Moodle looks uh, or tutorials later on. Hope you enjoyed this. It helps you get started in your new Moodle experience.